humble pranams at the divine lotus feet of our most beloved swami bhagwan where do i begin a story that has no beginning and no end how do i tell an eternal saga of love in a few minutes express deep emotions in a few lines and express your grandeur within the human limitations for every bond of yours is unique and each such story is no less than an epic presenting one such story about a devotee and his choices we offer at your divine lotus feet a drama entitled the choice kanha has now become krishna and is residing in mathura after defeating his uncle kamsa but danger kept coming in the form of jarasandha's invasion how happy would these mathura vasis be for they are living with our kanha amidst them hmm brothers you are blessed with the gift of a lifetime living alongside and breathing the same air as krishna kanaiya brother calm down this is the court of mathura you seem to be new from where have you come well i am adwe from gokul vrajabhumi i am here to see my dear friend kanha oh you're from gokul yes yes i remember don't you all remember krishna used to live in gokul earlier kanha my dear friend are you referring to Shri Krishna Vasudeva son of Shri Vasudeva and Devaki Devi is our great king really friends with you oh sire he may be krishna for you but for the whole of gokula he is kanha if you still want proof ask the flowing yamuna and the majestic govardhana every blade of grass in vraja whispers tales of our friendship stop making fun of our guest he is krishna's dear friend and if krishna comes to know we have talked like this with his friend he will be disappointed with us fine 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 we agree with you every now and then we get people coming up with grand tales of good old brindavan what say brother Well said brother of late everyone is coming and claiming some distant relation to our king and trying to extract some favors from him tell me brother what is your reason reason do i need a reason to see my friend <laughs> do i need an excuse to bask in his glory i missed him So I came down to see him. Just a glimpse of his majestic form. Experience the soft reassuring touch and hear him ask in his inimitable way about our welfare. Emi samacharam. That that is enough. Let me tell you the news. Being in the far flung locales of Gokul have blinded you to the impending danger danger i haven't heard of any danger even if there is i am sure my kanha will save all of us you chose a very wrong time to enter this city my friend for it has been under constant attack from jarasandha the king of magadha our lord krishna fought him for around 20 times and vanquished those enemy hordes yet every time he spared the life of jarasandha and now jarasandha is getting ready to attack with a larger army than before 
What is there to fear? For the one who could end the rule of tyrant Kamsa over this land, the one who could destroy the mighty Tuskar Kuvalaya Pida with just one fist, this is child's play. The mighty Devendra was defeated by his one act of lifting the Govardhana mountain on his little finger. Chirasandha is nothing. Have faith in the power of Krishna, brothers. Have faith that he will protect you. I had made this mistake earlier and I implore all of you not to make this mistake again. And, and don't go by my words alone. Wait for Krishna himself to give the heroic proclamation that will strike terror in the hearts of the enemies. Attention! All rise! The ruler of Mathura will grace the Praja Darbar shortly. My dear citizens, on behalf of the administration of Mathura, we thank you for your continued support. As all of you are aware, these are testing times with the enemies circling around Mathura waiting for the right moment to strike. Rest assured that the citizen's safety is the top priority. Our king's valor has repelled the enemy for 20 times already. Now we look to our king Krishna for continued protection. Lord, please bless us with your words. Citizens of Mathura, you have weathered the enemy onslaught umpty number of times and have shown exceptional bravery. My deep appreciations. We have confirmed news that Jarasandha is attacking again and this time he is coming with his biggest army ever and he will reach here very soon. But. I am not going to fight this meaningless war with Jarasandha anymore. My dear citizens, do not fear. Stay at your homes, pack your belongings and wait for my instructions. We will begin this journey very soon. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I don't understand. Krishna will not fight Jarasandha and is running away. And and now we have to pack our belongings. Oh God, I think all of us are doomed. Don't panic. Don't panic. Be strong. Krishna clearly said that we must pack our belongings and wait for further instructions. And our friend from Vrindavan is assuring us, our master must definitely have a plan. Plan? I haven't seen any improvement in our lives. In fact, it has become worse. Life under Kamsa was better. At least we were safe and secure. Now we don't have a moment's rest and live under constant fear of attack. History will definitely call him a coward. Don't call my Krishna a coward. He rallied all of us and, and protected us from Indra. Eh, hey, enough of these fairy tales. Have you seen Krishna lift the Govardhanagiri with his little finger? with your own eyes? Well, there you go. I am not going to keep my safety in the hands of a wavering and uncertain ruler. I am leaving Mathura today itself. Yes. Perhaps that is indeed the right thing to do. I should not risk the lives of my family. Hmm. Yes, I am out of here. I am sorry, my friend. It is just a bad time to see Krishna. Would you like to stay with us and accompany us on the journey? 
मे बी देन यू माइट बी एबल टू मीट कृष्णा थैंक्स फॉर द काइंड ऑफ अ गुड सर बट आई वुड राधर फाइंड माई ओन वे प्लीज टेक केयर एंड बी सेफ Krishna What is this I came here in the hope that you will be comforting me but now you are confusing me The Kanha who challenged and humbled the great Indra himself is running away from a mere mortal Is my being here at this time a test by design or an unfortunate coincidence what am i supposed to do now shall i wait with them or or should i leave will will kanha recognize me and take me with him and and what if jarasandha discovers that the citizens are leaving and attacks the convoy oh If I stay here and I am killed who will warn the people of Brindavan I think I think I must go Kanha I am leaving without meeting you but but I have to greater your resolve greater the obstacles the lord's message is simple have faith and believe but it is so hard to follow while we wander aimlessly in the wastelands of doubt and despair he creates situations and shows us the mirror of where we need to be Advai like all of us needed a mirror to see where he stood Time passed and Krishna's dear friend Sudama has come to Dwaraka Krishna the divine sutradhari that he is slowly started connecting the dots Kanha Please accept the salutations of this humble Gopala from Vrindavan. Your people from Gokul send their love and regards. My dear Advai, why this formal tone? Why are you putting up this wall between us? For you, I am your Kanha from Vrindavan and not this Krishna from Dwaraka. Lord, then you were a little child stealing butter and playing with us now you are the ruler of dwaraka we cannot address you the same way as we addressed you in prindavan yet amongst my dear gopalas and gopikas i will always be their cowherd from prindavan Tell me my dear friend what can this Gopala do for you You have done everything for us Kanha but I have done nothing for you I keep preaching lofty philosophy around your glory to others but when the crucial time comes I falter on the path and fall The last time I came to Mathura The attack of Charasandha was imminent. Instead of believing in you, I made a hasty retreat to Gokula. You protected the citizens of Mathura and brought them to this beautiful city of Dwaraka, Kanha. And I and I failed, Kanha. I don't understand where I'm going wrong. Adway It is not just you everyone 
everyone does the same it is all the play of maya maya is what allows you to interact with me as a human and at the same time it deludes you into thinking that i too am just a human what is the way out kanha how do i make the right choice at the right time how do i choose you and always you patience advay patience this is not an answer i can give but an answer you have to experience an answer you have to discover for yourself and that is sadhana so till i find the answer am i destined to falter and fail advay it is only in faltering that one learns to balance in falling to rise and in failing to succeed take every defeat as a foundation and build on that experience thank you krishna these visits followed by these deep conversations rejuvenate me i shall keep coming and learn more i shall take your leave now kanha wait adway wait what is the hurry it is almost time a very important guest is about to arrive maharaj a person claiming to be your childhood friend is at the entrance he says his name is sudama 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 is here krishna krishna what a beautiful surprise how have you been my friend it has been so long since our days at guru sandeepani's ashram come come my friend sit sit krishna you you remember me after all these years i thought you might have forgotten me <laughs> i am the one who always remembers sudama you are the ones who always forget what took you so long to visit me had you forgotten me sit sudama sit sit krishna krishna you are a king please please don't do it krishna oh how your feet have blistered in the unforgiving heat and this long journey allow me to put some medicine tell me sudama how is your family by your grace krishna everyone is fine my wife niyati has specially asked me to convey her love and regards to you convey my blessings to my sister sudama having you here fills me with nostalgia of our time as students in gurukul i miss those wonderful days yes yes krishna you were always fond of those peacocks and they loved you too spreading their tails to welcome you what what a sight that was they even shared their feathers willingly with you to adorn as your ornament how how fortunate are those feathers that lie so close to your crown feathers rest on my head but sudama you reside in my heart all of you irrespective of the distance are always in my thoughts hmm while i remember you you seem to have forgotten something important i know my sister very well she won't send her husband empty handed to meet his dear friend come on show me where is the gift oh sudama i remember how you used to hide it from me and eat it all by yourself hmm delicious just the way i like krishna today 
आई एम फ्लडेड विथ जॉय कृष्णा नथिंग मैटर्स मोर टू मी विथ दिस मेमोरी आई कैन स्पेंड द रेस्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ इन हैप्पीनेस सो बी इट सुदामा सो बी इट बी हैप्पी Adve please escort my dear friend on your way back to Brindavan Brother Sudama yours is a unique relationship with the Lord it is all his love Adve not my merit this was a trip driven by despair living in abject poverty hopeless and helpless i tried to reach out to krishna for arms wearing the garb of a friend and krishna he remembered even the things i forgot every story every memory every prank and mischief every moment of misery and ecstasy he remembers we we forget my heart was so full of love that my desire just melted away really if that was the case why didn't you ask krishna for help with just a small request all your problems would be solved believe me adway believe me my mind was tempted to cry out krishna My family is starving. Please help me. But my heart stopped me by asking a question. The one who resides in your heart will he not know your suffering? He is there at the moment of need, not at the instant of desire. Krishna knows and Krishna knows best. Thank you brother for this lesson. I am now actually understanding what Krishna was hinting at. He wants me to listen more to my heart than my head. Love before logic. And there is no better way to foster love than by constantly visiting him and reinforcing this lesson. The next time the moment of choice comes I will definitely be ready. When a beautiful message is conveyed to us, our understanding of it is followed by a resolve to apply the learning and pass the Lord's test. But his tests are like lightning. They are fast and the most unexpected. The Lord had asked Adway to accompany Uddhava on a trip to Brindavan. Both of them have just returned to Dwaraka to report to Krishna. Dear Adway, I am so grateful to you, my dear friend, for accompanying me all the way to Brindavan and allowing me to meet the blessed Gopalas and Gopikas. Uddhava It is my good fortune indeed to be a guide to a person like you. We were all blessed by Krishna to be his compatriots in his childhood. But you you have been blessed to serve him during the glorious days of his unfolding mission. Being dear to him is more precious than being near to him, my brother. <laughs> Trust me. The love that Krishna has for Gopikas and Gopalas is something special. Does he does he often talk about us, Uddhava? The mere mention of Brindavan widens his eyes. His actions become animated and his usually composed self gives way to bubbling joy and enthusiasm. Krishna the emperor becomes kanha the gopala i always wondered why and now after meeting them i realized how intense is their love for krishna 
ఏమి సమాచారం ఉద్ధవా హౌ డిడ్ యోర్ ట్రిప్ టు బృందావన్ గో కృష్ణ ఐ వెంట్ యాజ్ అ టీచర్ అండ్ రిటర్న్ అ స్టూడెంట్ దేర్ లవ్ ఫర్ యూ హ్యాస్ ఎన్ లైట్ అండ్ మీ ఉద్ధవా every grain of brindavan is filled with love for krishna imagine how would then be the hearts of those gopikas and gopalas adve did you take uddhava to all the houses yes kanha krishna in fact it was adve who assembled all the gopikas in the village center and prodded me to speak as i stood up to speak I showed them your letter. To my horror, no one came forward. And when I asked one Gopika, she said, her pining for you is so intense that the letter will burn away. And another said, looking at Krishna's handwriting, my eyes would well up and it might smudge the letters. I was so moved. And then I saw Suguna with her burnt finger. Suguna. She saw me in the flame and burnt her finger trying to catch me there. How is she now? What can I say, Krishna? Her eyes seem to carry that flame still of pining for you, of seeking only you. And how is my dear friend Shringa, Suguna's husband? He would be the guard outside the houses when I used to steal butter. Yes. He recollected with gratitude all your leelas. His throat was choking at the mere mention of your name, Krishna. Hmm. And what did Radha say Krishna when i spoke to her she did not even look at me she turned her head to a bee that came from nowhere and addressing it she spoke her heart out to you i know i know radha dhara aadhara Hmm. Uddhava, you must be very tired of this long journey. Go now and take rest. As you say, Krishna. Uh, but before you go, tell me what did Chinmay say? Chinmay? Krishna, I did not visit Chinmay's house, Krishna. Why? Did not Adwai take you there? Krishna, uh... Chinmay wasn't available. He was away traveling. Adwe, wasn't he aware of Uddhava's visit? No, Krishna. When I visited his house a fortnight ago, he was out in the field. I I have I I had requested the neighbors to keep him informed. There must have been some miscommunication. What? You failed again? Kanha, it was my mistake. I will take Uddhava again when Chinmay is back. Ah. You have grown so big to take Uddhava wherever and whenever you want. Forgive me Krishna. Please pardon me. I will bring Chinmay to Dwarka to meet Uddhava. And now you want to bring people here without my permission? I'm sorry Kanha but that was not my intention. Krishna, Adve was only saying Normusko पश्यन्नपि च न पश्यति मूढः यू आर दैट फूल हु सीज एंड येट डज नॉट सी यू पीपल फेल टू लिसन टू मी डिस्पाइट माय कांस्टेंट रिपीटेशन ऑफ माय मैसेज यू हैव टेकन कृष्णा लाइटली एंड इट हैज बिकम योर हैबिट यू कम हियर वंस इन अ वाइल शो योर फेस not to all that i say and yet when you go back you are the same old fool get out of here this very instant go 
एंड डोंट कम बैक टेल आई कॉल यू कान्हा कान्हा प्लीज कान्हा कान्हा प्लीज प्लीज कान्हा देर इज नथिंग टू डिस्कस डोंट कम बैक टिल आई कॉल यू The greatest test of the Lord is the moment he stops talking to us stops interacting with us and acts as if we don't exist but it is for us to understand that these painful moments are like burning embers that purify us and we emerge as his true bangarus adve to like us at some point in our lives is walking over these burning embers a grand feast is being organized by krishna but krishna does not invite advai are chaitanya akshay so good to see you here how is everyone in brindavan everyone is fine but are you fine advai why do you want to punish yourself by waiting at krishna's doorstep every day when you know that he is upset with you brothers my life is here at dwaraka and i am happy the moment krishna forgives and calls me i should be able to reach him instantly this time i shall not fear this time i shall not run away this time i will make the right choice adway i really hope you get the opportunity soon ha huh? the upcoming celebrations at prabhasa kshetra is the right opportunity you can definitely seek krishna's forgiveness there you must have got the invitation right what celebrations at prabhasa kshetra no i haven't received any invitation from krishna oh we didn't know that anyway it is not too late come with us for the celebration and meet krishna there directly our merciful lord will definitely pardon you thank you brothers for the suggestion i i need to think about it i would like to be alone now please man tadpat hai tav darshan ko प्राण सखा कान्हा कान्हा रे कान्हा मन तड़पत है तव दर्शन को प्राण सखा कान्हा ओ कान्हा रे What is happening Kanha? What is happening to me? I am so restless. I am so lonely. What should I do? What should I do? Man mandir mein Kanha viraje जग का कृष्ण अलग क्यों कान्हा का मुरली तो गाए कृष्ण कहो फिर चुप क्यों कहे कृष्ण कहो तुम चुप हो कृष्ण कहो फिर चुप क्यों 
कान्हारे कान्हा The whole of Yadukula is invited for the grand feast except me Should I listen to my dearest Kanha in my heart who is beckoning me towards him or should I listen to Krishna who is instructing me to stay away from him Man dar pan pe mail laga hai Man dar pan pe mail laga hai भ्रम और छल का लेप चढ़ा है देख के देख न पाऊं सत्य को जान न not listen to you kanha when you call me to worship the govardhana mountain i miss the chance i miss the chance that even time a memorial cannot fill i came to you in mathura but my mind foolishly justified me running away to brindavan without meeting you krishna krishna When I met Sudama his love for you taught me the greatest of lessons that as my hrudayavasi you know what is best for me much much better than my heart prompts or my mind conjectures nimitta matram krishna mama nimitta matram with this limited intellect what should i do what should i do kanha what should i do whatever you choose i am here to support you the choice has to be yours but i hope you choose me Adway the choice has to be yours and i hope you choose me now i need both my eyes how do i choose one eye over the other adway what do you see when you close both eyes perhaps that will help you choose regardless of the eye the vision is the same the vision is the same the vision is the same kanha krishna both both are the same oh oh 
truly Krishna. I am that fool who sees and yet cannot see. You are the same. You are the one and the same. My Kanha and my Krishna are the same. My Kanha and my Krishna. My Kanha and my Krishna. My Kanha and my Krishna. My Kanha and Krishna, they are both the same. Swami, Swami, Swami. Finally, after all these years, you have understood. Dunnaputa. So what do you choose now, Advai? There is no choice, Krishna. It was the confused ramblings of a mind steeped in duality. All the guilt and regret have melted away. The place is here. The moment is now. You are now here with me. That is all that matters, Krishna. I shall not move from this place. When you feel it is right, you will call me. That is my choice. Krishna, your will is my life. Like nectar to a parched throat, the Lord's darshan soothes all pain. However painful it is, He waits for us to realize our own answers, chart our own paths and complete our journeys. As history tells us, an incident at Prabhasakshetra eliminated the entire Yadava clan. As Krishna was about to end his earthly sojourn, he finally called Advai to his physical presence. Krishna? Krishna? I just heard of the ghastly tragedy at Prabhasakshetra. The entire Yadava clan was massacred. But if it happened in your presence, it is your will that drove their destiny. The Yadavas, who formed the invincible Narayani Sena, served their purpose in my mission. Everything that has a beginning has to come to an end. Their fulfillment was in breathing their last in my presence. And your fulfillment lies in realizing that you are the chosen instrument. Kanha, it is my highest fortune to be your instrument. I, I can die for you, Kanha. Live for me, Adve. Live for me. Living every moment happily is passing my test. For happiness is union with God. Krishna, I am grateful that I made the right choice. Not because I survived, but I get one more day to experience your glory. One more day to be part of your story. All I want now, my Lord, is only you and nothing else. For happiness is union with God. Adway, for long I have been waiting for this day. As much as you pined for me, I too have been pining for you. I pine for each and every one of you. But Lord, aren't you angry that we upset you so often? Aren't you disappointed that we let you down? Day after day, 
Don't you get exasperated when we take so long to understand? Adway, adway, adway. Eternity is but an instant for me. I am beyond time. My love knows no judgment. Wasn't I aware of all your follies, struggles and flaws when I called you mine? I created you. I know you. I accept you as you are. For what I see in you is my very own self hiding behind this imaginary veil called you. I love you. Yet I test you so that you may evolve. I chisel, I cajole, I prompt, I guide and I guard so that you may realize yourself. All those moments that this body spent with you, all those glances, laughters, tears and anger are my expressions of my love for you and are steadily drawing you towards me. All I ask of you is just one step. Choose to take the first step towards me and I will carry you on the journey back to me. The star merges into the sky. The drop merges into the ocean and you merge into me.